Hello friends, welcome to Angpro Training. This is our first class in tips and tricks in C Sharp. In this class, we will be knowing the tip to find the difference of time, right? So for that, we'll be using the structure called date time, which represents an instance in time. Uh, typically, it expressed as the date and time of the day as set in your computer system and we will be using the method called date time which is a constructor of the type date time so this constructor initializes a new instance of the date time structure to the specified year month and the day that is set in your computer system right so i'll be using the microsoft visual studio uh, to demonstrate the code so i'm starting with the new project so let us take the simple console application to demonstrate the code or uh, to find the difference of two times right so I will call this as difference in time say ok so this is the uh, default code that we have got and inside the main function I'm going to start uh, by defining the instance of the structure called date and time so the structure name is date time I am to create the variable or you can say instance of that structure because date time is a structure defined inside the system namespace right so I'll create a, a variable of first time right so first time is my first instance so here I'm going to assign the time which will be my first time uh, in which I'm going to subtract the second time say 12 so 12 p.m. so 12 p.m. is the time that I'm going to assign the first time so this is not enough to assign right so how we can store the time inside the variable which is of type date time so we have to parse this to date time only after which we are going to get the real format of the time right so after attaching date time dot parse this is going to be uh, converted in the date time format specified as specified by the date time structure so I'm going to copy the same line and paste it below so here now this time I'm going to or declare a second instance called second time so where I'm going to store the second time so here I'll tell 10 so my second time will be uh, 10 a.m. or p.m. whatever you call and then my first time will be 12 right so now I'm going to use uh, the time span structure so this will represent the time interval between two times uh, here I'm going to declare a new instance or variable for this structure called difference right and equal now I'm going to subtract right there is a function called subtract in the context of date time which can be used to subtract one time from another time so first I'm taking the big number first time dot the function or the method uh, which is called as subtract and here I'm going to pass the second time so that is stored in second time so the meaning of this sentence is I'm going to subtract the second time from first time so this is the same as first time minus second time right so now I'm going to print that out on the console window so I just want difference of hours that will be appended with difference dot so I'm using the same variable here difference which is an instance of time span which has got the difference of first time and second time so I'm using the same one but I have to format it uh, I'm going to format it into hours so I'll append dot hours so dot hours is a property in the context date time 
right so let us go and run this so I'm just adding a read line function to hold the uh, console window so control F5 see here is my output difference of hours 2 so I got 2 from this um, method right difference dot hours uh, has returned 2 because I got the entire date I got the full time format in the difference but I am formatting it into uh, to show only in hours right difference dot hour so if I say simply difference so I'll just get the output as difference is 2 hours uh, right so if I want in minutes I'll say difference of difference of minutes so I have to convert it into hours multiplied with uh, 60 right Control F5. So difference of minutes is 120. So this is how we can achieve the difference of two times. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.